This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we'll bring you the bigger stories and, of course, interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here to drink and spill tea with Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshogaye. You will soon take this for Sonny, <laughs> we, we, we had a conversation had last conversation night again, again and then we'll, we'll, we'll we decided yes. that I'm going to be taking a last name. Okay, and okay. yeah. You know, we talk frequently. We try to like talk a lot of things out, mm. just so and we don't have issues. You know, mm. you won't understand. You're single. No, I won't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, like, I love my single life. I kudos, kudos. Mm. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, thank you. Okay. We appreciate. <laughs> it. Very important conversation. Living in. What are you saying that we're not free. important? Okay, sorry. Moving on to the story for today. Good. Living in bondage, <laughs> Breaking Free has hit a new record in its debut weekend um, as it displaces Terminator Dark Fates to gross over 25 million naira in cinema across West Africa to emerge the first Nollywood film to break the record. This was revealed by Cinema Exhibitors Association of Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Should we do drum roll to this? <laughs> I saw it yesterday. My I mother said it was five million. <laughs> so right. I'm good. I don't I need to roll the drum. Too, Have you seen it before? Um, I was invited for the private screening, so sorry. You so you went to pay for it. I was Did invited for Alice, the private thank screening. Thank you for emphasizing that your money is not in this 25 million now. But our That's money okay. is involved So right how now. do you feel about it? Mm. About the movie itself? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's okay. It's, it's all right. Very all right. <laughs> Fair. Okay, so you know, I know, actually first thing first, you need yesterday. to know that I'm not so much of the Nollywood movie guy, but mm -hmm. whenever I see the great ones, I always acknowledge it, and this is one of the great Nollywood movies. Mm -hmm. And besides, um, it, this is the it started the Nollywood movement, the sequel, the mm -hmm. first one started the Nollywood movement, so you can't take that away from this. Um, movie. It's a great movie and it would always be a great movie and it will go down in history forever. It's actually a very great movie. I mean, mm. I enjoyed it. Before we got to the scene, I was telling you I was going to sleep off. Or, no, I, I didn't even doze off for one second. I mean, the movie was a, was very interesting. Yeah, I had to And I, I was not expecting okay. so much since it's a sequel to an old movie. They can't go out of the story and all of that. And, I mean, the story was actually interesting. Something you can relate to. I mean, as far the gist that is happening everywhere mm -hmm. and all. It's a great movie. Okay, so there's an ongoing conversation on Twitter. I mean, of course, people have their opinions. Like, it's a good movie, it's not a good movie, which was one of the reasons I had to go and see it yesterday mm. because I wanted to be able to give my opinion from my own view, right? Mm. And this person said, oh, there are so many unnecessary scenes. There are I agree. Oh, Mm -mm, let me finish. So many <laughs> unnecessary um, scenes. Yes. Um, Sinua overacted. Um, Kanayo Kanayo um, did not show a lot. And then Bob Manuel was very redundant. So mm -hmm. because of that, I said, okay, I'm going to watch this movie. Mm -hmm. But I can say, for me, oh, I don't know how you feel. I did not see any unnecessary scenes. For me That's too, one. I did not Secondly, see Secondly, Ramsey I was... I think some scenes are Ramsey, Ramsey. Ramsey was perfect. Amazing. amazing. It was amazing. Kanayo, Kanayo. Yes, because we tag him as our ritualist king <laughs> in Nollywood. We did not see a lot of him. Yes, that's true. And I, I, I agree with that one. And then Bob Manuel, like, I, did he really say anything? Yeah, so basically, I think you should see it for yourself because it's a good movie. Yeah, you need to see it for yourself. Don't let anybody discourage, discourage you. you. Support yeah, our I own. was almost discouraged not to see this movie mm -hmm. because of the un too many unnecessary scenes. scenes yeah. and, and when I saw the time and I was thinking, mm, I'll definitely sleep off. But there was, I, for me, I didn't see any unnecessary scene. And for Kana, you, it's not the devil. Ram Sina in the movie is the oh, real devil. The perfect one. So, That's not spoilers. <laughs> just go and see it yourself. Do you know that a lot of people have seen this movie on Twitter and on um, social media? media as in on all social media platforms and they've not been to the cinema to see the analysis, because right? too much spoilers everywhere like you guys should just chill and let people go and see this movie so they can but make Ramsey more was money. a hot devil oh yeah it's okay. have you seen um <laughs> what's the name of this um is it lucifer i think ramsey can actually pass for lucifer mm. you know yeah, that's what that would on. be cat smile moving yeah. on, <laughs> moving on. AMVC a, yeah, organizers call for film submission ahead of seventh edition, which is scheduled um, for March 2020. Entries are expected to start rolling in from today, November 13, 2019, to December 13, 2019. All film made for television movies and television series 
are eligible to entering for the AMVCA. Okay, yeah. So, at least between the period of April 1st, 2018 to November 30, 2019. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think this is just a, a roll call for us because we don't want a situation whereby you are here, we don't know where the submission started mm -hmm. or when it ended. So, all media houses are putting their hands on deck on this one to make sure the information is out there. And I hope that we can get this kind of call for... Every hour. Um, what's the one? Um, Lion Hearts. Oscars. Oscars. Oscars for next year. I I hope that they will be able to put out this type of press release for people mm. to know when and how it is going oh, to Oh, no, happen. they actually so do put out press releases every year. They did not. You checked. Okay. Let's not go <laughs> into that conversation, but they, they, they did not, actually. Mm. There's a conversation around that. You say so. Okay, mm -hmm. I was I was saying maybe living in bondage, breaking free will be nominated for Oscar because it was like, a lot of native language spoken in that movie. Mm. But is it, is it um, below, is it more than 40% you know. and all that, yeah. you know? Yeah, it is, because almost is every scene... I know it's more than 11%, yeah. but I don't know if it's up to... No, 40. Six, yeah, 40, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know, I don't but like know. almost every scene, there was like a touch of Igbo, 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 Igbo. I mean, some but, scenes it was um, like Igbo, The English language should only be spoken for only, um, I think, 7 to 11 minutes in the movie. Oh. Yeah, then so... Can't <laughs> I don't understand. Yes, for for you to be nominated for that, um, what's it called? Category. Category. Yes. No, you have to have the foreign language um, dominates at least 40%. That's mm. what it says. Yes, and they're saying that English language should only be spoken for if about 11 minutes. If it's dominating for 40%, how is English going to be just 11 minutes? Well, it's part of their criteria. Okay, well, we I'm don't not, know. Let's see. I don't know about the technicalities. That's why we have an NOSC, right? Mm -hmm. So we we'll let them do their job. We have a guest, but before we introduce who this awesome guest is, Let's go on a very quick break, and when we come back, we'll let the cat out of the bag. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> Our guest on this episode is a multi award winning actress, producer, philanthropist, global influencer, TV show host, and the current public relations officer of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. She's passionate about inspiring change through unconventional productions that brings balance to society's moral journey. With an impressive body of work over the years, she has been widely described as Nollywood's top talent for unique ability to interpret complex roles effortlessly. She has featured in over 200 movies. She is the founder of the Arise Mona Lisa Foundation, an Africa-based not-for-profit organization organization renowned for inspiring hope by empowering young people and creating opportunities for the less privileged across the continent. Let's make welcome the beautiful, talented screen goddess, Mona Lisa Chinda. And the crowd goes. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome Thank you. on the show. Welcome. Thank you so much. Mm, okay, so her new show, Mona Lisa, is premiering on Plus TV Africa today at 8.30 p.m. You definitely don't want to miss this. But before we have this conversation, let's have a look at this. Mona Lisa is all about me. It's all about you. It's all about our stories. The stories that never get told, but ought to. Whereby water transportation does not make financial sense, it makes economic sense. I was there for 20 half hours on the floor. Nobody attended to me. If we don't take care of the poor, the poor will take care of us. 
It's about getting at the root of things and hearing from the horse's mouth. We are fixing public hospitals to make them affordable. In the whole of Africa, we are bigger. You know, Nigeria, we sleep, eat, dream, fashion. Those with the uh, financial backing don't see fashion as an investment, which makes no sense. If they do it for free, they won't have money for the next case. Mona Lisa is about real life and the real lives, yours and mine. Make a date with Mona Lisa and together let's ensure that the important stories get told. How excited are you for this one? I'm very, very, very much excited. I, um, I actually didn't see this coming. Um, this for me has been something that always, I've always wanted to give back, to give freely mm -hmm. to the public mm -hmm. but finding that platform was very difficult for me and as god would have it this is the time i want to believe maybe if it had come five years ago i wouldn't have utilized i wouldn't have even managed the situation i wouldn't have even had people loving it as much as they i think and i hope they will love it today so it's 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 fulfilling mm -hmm. all right so you're not new to the media industry so why why now? What inspired this project? Well, I am a very passionate woman. Um, I'm sure most of you uh, will say, yes, me too, I'm passionate. But listen, uh, passionate differs. Uh, passion differs, sorry. Um, compassion differs. Zeal to your, um, um, to your vision differs. So for me, I think having gotten I haven't done so much in the past I haven't done uh, almost almost everything I think I, I want to do in the past I think giving back at this age all my experiences this is the right time to give back to the society mm -hmm. I'm not looking at finance I'm not looking at it will come I'm not looking at wanting the pop popularity is already there mm -hmm. so what do you want to use your god-given talent or popularity or popularity to do after mm. now what yeah. legacies are you living behind? Yeah. Uh, all the roles I used to um, um, see myself doing, acting years back, I can't do them now. Mm -hmm. That's a reality. I can't do all those sassy daddy's girl kind of roles. Now mm. I'm going to have to be the one murdering a, uh, somebody else who's one who mm. is a daddy's girl or mother's girl. You know, so it's just certain things you need to, uh, at this point in time in your life, begin to look forward to, to have more impact and do stuff for the society at large. Mm. Okay, um, the style of this project fits more into journalism than acting, and some people will say we're seeing the more serious Mona Lisa. Is this true? This is not serious, really. <laughs> <laughs> mm. True. True. If they look at you, presenters, they think you're not doing what you're supposed to do. They think it's not serious. Mm. Mm. Entertainment is serious. Acting is the one of the... Because you're reading all the time. Mm. You know, so, yeah, acting is serious. Mona Lisa show uh, 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 is serious. Everything is serious. CNN is serious. Backstory reports on that is also serious. So everything is serious. For me, um, I want to get my hands dirty. Mm. I want to see myself going really deep into uncovering stories that has never been told. Mm. I want to see people doing so well, and they don't have the platform or the voice. I want to be the voice for the people. Mm. So, Plus TV has given me that platform. Okay. And so yeah. why Mona Lisa? I mean, that's your name and that's the name of the show. Please don't look at it as my name. <laughs> <laughs> look at it as and a... I like how you call it Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at it as a global brand. Okay. Look at it as a brand that stands on its own, that can sell anything. Why? I don't know why the management did that. That is for my producer and the manage, management to, to, to answer that question. But it's more like, coincidentally, what they hope to see that this particular brand produces happen to be another brand who could carry this, this uh, huge project. And when they found me, I looked at it. It has everything to do with my kind of person, my dream, my vision, my mission. So it all just collaborated. And here I am today producing 
what seems to what is going to be one of the biggest thing that's ever happened in Africa and Pan Africa and mm. of course global. So yes. So every um, what's it called the achievement has its pros and cons. What are some of the challenges you faced while creating this um, yeah. new project of yours? Yeah, well, challenges are that we couldn't get the guests who want to speak. Two challenges that are one, I'm an actor. Will I be acceptable uh. in delivering such? demanding mm. um, projects and the third um, one of the one of the things I'm, I would naturally wouldn't want to talk about it, but I have to talk about it is the fact that I see this begin you know getting bigger than what I, I anticipated well, am I going to be able to to shoulder this huge mm. impactful project mm. and so I had to work on myself. Mm to know that I must, I have something to deliver. I have, I've been pregnant with this for so many years without even knowing I was pregnant with it. Mm -hmm. So I must be able to put myself together to deliver what the public is expected of me to do. So yes, Mona Lisa, uh, yeah, the question. <laughs> yeah, challenges. Yeah, the challenges, yeah. So I think that's just basically what it is. Right. That's just about it. Okay, so, sorry, before you take that question, let's go on a very quick break and um, when we come back, we'll definitely carry on this conversation. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, we have Mona Lisa in the house talking Mona Lisa, a project <laughs> preparing on Plus TV Africa at 30 p.m. today. Okay, well, okay. you're going to take a question. Yeah, when you were answering the first question, you called this project the one that was a huge impact on people. So what are you expecting? What are your results? Okay, first off, um, the fact that it's a backstory report, mm. uh, the fact that we go to the locations to cover um, stories, untold stories, to see it raw. For instance, we invited, we, we went and we interviewed a doctor mm. who... Um, doing free surgeries for people. Mm. Now, that is not, people won't want to see that as news, mm -hmm. but it is news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, free surgeries for over 100 or 200 people in a community. Mm. Wow. That is that is huge news. I mean, doctors who are at the cutting edge of their practices, and then we take some of these uh, issues to the policy makers and see if some of, um, if they can be relieved of, they know that this particular community need hospitals, they need mm. some medical um, um, help. So please look into this matter and see what you can do for this particular community. So we we proffer solution. The, the show is meant to proffer solution. Get to the policymakers, to the you know as raw as it is, and see if they can do something about different various com communities. So for me, it's uh, it's just I just love it. You know, at, at, at the, where I am at this moment, I should I should do I should we should we not me. Now I'm talking to other people who are probably looking at ways to probably partner with this with this show. Come on board and see what we can do to take stories that are untold to the public, you know, forum, and hear from the horse's mouth. Okay, mm -hmm. this is sounding really interesting. Yeah, I can't yeah, wait. We can't wait to... But um, there's a part of you people don't know about, and that's the fact that you're a passionate activist. So tell us more about the projects you've handled and the ones you are hoping to handle. Am I an activist? I don't think so. I'm a humanitarian. Okay. Mm -hmm. so what's I... the difference to you? 
Well, activism, it takes a whole lot. It's, it, it has some sort of controversies around it. And which means you just have to be at the war front mm. of having to defend this and that and this. Humanitarian, humanitarianism is uh, meeting people at the point of their needs, um, uh, welfare, um, um, helping people who can't afford to, 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 for instance, domestic issues like school fees, feeding. Yeah. Um, we talked about transportation, yeah. the issues on health. on the road. We're talking about health. Those are, that, that for me, that's, those are people who want to see how they can help human beings and humanity uh, not live a very hard life mm. and see how they can make things very easy for people. And I think that's what, where I come in, not an activist. So what projects have you projects. worked on? Or you work I on? have a foundation called Arise Bona Lisa Foundation. I think everything you need to know is there. Mm. Um, I'm still very much into my uh, acting. Um, I have a lot on my plate, which God will give me the grace to be able to manage some of these huge projects. I, I do a lot of training. I have a film school. Uh, I, I offer training to about 12 subjects uh, in the film school. And we look at ways to also help in um, uh, helping people who have learned to give them, uh, to excel much mm -hmm. after, after, because so questions are, after this, After school, what, what next? next? Yeah. So yeah. We, 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 we also create the platform for them to excel in their various uh, chosen That's uh, great. professions. Well yeah. done. Thank you. Okay, so um, first off, I think we didn't congratulate you on your new appointment as the PRO of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. So congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. on that Thank you so much. Thank you. And, um, you know, you spoke about passion. And yeah. Thinking about it now, you have to be a really passionate person to be doing all of these things. And like you also said, you have a lot on your plate. You really have to be passionate to be able to um, put all these things together and still come out successful. So how do you manage your time? We've seen your new movies such as um, Bling Legosians. Um, you contested for the um, PRO of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. You damn you, this new baby coming up. <laughs> and your Arise Mona Lisa. I could, should I go on and on? I could go on and on. How do you manage your shadow and all of that? First of all, I try to balance. Um, for me, rest is when I just go to take that seven hour sleep. Once I'm up on my feet, there's no rest until mm. I, 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 I am, I'm, until I find what I'm looking for. I haven't seen that yet. So for me, there is no rest. I try, that seven hours sleep is enough for me. My husband is very understanding, so he takes some of the burden of domestics mm. away from, so we share it 50-50. It's not that type of mass, you know, manly, you know, that oh, yes, uh, male chauvinism. You know, this is you, the woman should be a section to the, you know, domestics and the kitchen. No, he's very, very um, understanding in that way, and that has also helped me a whole lot. Yes, that is it. Okay, but you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dog boy. Thank they you. Say. Yes, that's true. <laughs> when do you have, you know, time to have fun, unwind, <sighs> and just relax? But now I don't really think that is on my plate to go and have fun. No, mm. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> work fun it's work. It's fun. Yes, work is fun okay. for me. I'm here having this conversation with you. It's 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 some sort of uh, what they call release relief. What they yeah. call yeah. what they call there's something. When some sort of relax. relaxation you're yeah. talking you're having you're, yeah. you know you're having conversations, conversations yeah. that is you know you could you could even learn from I mean, we're all learning from yeah. each yeah. other yeah. and for me this is my way of relaxing okay mm -hmm. honestly so passion is different up, from passion just, just know tell that tell them why they should watch the show today at 8 30 p.m watch this show today at 8 30 p.m and be inspired and if you have stories that you want people to hear if you have a, if you have some sort of um, stuff that you want people to share with you inspiring stories cutting edge stories hit us up on our instagram page and of course on all our social media platforms at plus tv africa Thank you thank so you. much. And thank that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co anchors, Ewa Lua Ritu, Ife Lua Shokeye, and the entire production team. And of course, our studio guest, Mona Lisa Chindakoka. Thank you for being here. And please make sure you make it a date at 8.30 p.m. to watch Mona Lisa. My name is Elsie Godwin saying, 
thank you for watching and see you later.